Alrighty YouTube, well so it's been a little bit since I've done a video and uh, well we got some big changes coming. Some stuff around here is going to happen and uh, before we do anything I need a bottle skeet because I am thirsty. Go ahead and crack this open and have a sip with you guys real quick. All right, so I've been doing some thinking lately, guys, and uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm kind of overwhelmed right now with this whole tractor thing. I really am. I'm just, I'm honestly just not happy with how everything's been going with the tractors and some other personal stuff in life, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about specifically tractors today because that's on my mind, and uh, that's what I really want to talk about right now, so... <sighs> For starters, we'll go ahead and give a quick update on how everything is doing around here. Uh, the 330 is doing just fine, still running pretty great. 3,200 hours, and she's still up and kicking just good, or just fine. I just got off work, guys, so I'm a little, I'm a little flustered. So I just want to make this quick because my phone's at 10%. So, so the 330 is doing great. I pressure washed it the other day. I uh, got the pressure washer out and. Drained about a gallon of nasty gas out of it and put fresh in it. And believe it or not, it actually fired right up. So that's good with the old pressure washer that I have in here. I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna bother to show you it because it's just a little Honda shitty pressure washer. You know, I hate Honda motors. So uh, the Kubota it is sold. My mom has decided that she's gonna buy it off me, and uh, that's pretty much all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say how much she's paying for and anything like that, but. Uh, she is now the owner of this Kubota. She loves the thing she always has. And uh, um, still needs to, uh, believe it or not, I actually did a little bit of mowing with it. And I might include that little clip that I took of this thing mowing. So, but it actually is mowing great. I never, I didn't do anything to it. I didn't change oil or nothing like that, which is probably a bad idea because I learned, I really should have learned my lesson after this thing seizing up on me. But uh, it, it freaking mowed great. I couldn't be any happier with it. You know, the boats, the belts are roached. Like, they're freaking roached. But it actually worked. So, but I do have brand new belts to put on it. So, basically, that still needs the same things we've been talking about. Um, I'll get to the 12.6 here in a second. I just want to set my drink down so I can have two hands here. Gotta love the bottle skeet. And uh, got some decoration too. This came off of the, uh, this came off of my brother's O3 Cummins. So we'll put, we'll do something with that. Uh, various Rotella and other products because Rotella is the best. Coolant for the 330. Um, so the 12.6. Um, I do believe that this winter, this one is going to get a restoration. Um, not sure if you can really tell, but I actually took the pressure wash to it, and it actually doesn't look horrible. It looks, it took off about a few years of dirt and grime with this thing, and it really doesn't look too bad, but I want to restore this one because I feel like this one deserves it. So, plus it's a pretty unique track. You don't see these 12.6s too often, so. I personally still think that it's ugly as sin, but I, I love it. I don't know why. I just love the little, I love this little thing. Uh... I don't really know what we're going to do with this little New Holland LS55. It's just kind of here. I'm going to see if it runs. Um, my theory is that the uh, charging system took a crack, took a crap, but I'll get into that in another video. Uh, the Suburban 10 is where the bad news is, and I know I'm going to get some hate for this, but I really don't give a shit. I really don't. I guys, I think I need to sell it. I had fun with it. I love the thing. Don't get me wrong. I love the thing. But I think it's time for her to go. You know, this one here is not incredibly rare. And I want to keep my rare Sears Suburbans because I got some other tractors. I actually have acquired a couple other Sears Suburbans that I'll tell you guys about at the end of this video and why I'm wanting to sell this one just to free up some space. So 
it's a good running tractor. I'm gonna, it's not going with these tires. I'm putting the original tires back on it and it will go with those. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, the Suburban 10, I believe it's gonna go up for sale in the fall. I wanna get the summer out of it, have fun with it. I, don't get me wrong, I love the thing. It's been great to me. It's never failed me, I love it. But uh, you know what, I think her time is, I think it's her time to go. So don't be, ex be expecting to see this thing up for sale here within the next few months. Um, same thing with the 214. I think I'm just gonna, I'm, well, first things first, I'm gonna get it back on all four tires and uh, I'm just gonna let this guy go for cheap. I'm gonna take a loss on it and I just want the thing gone. And basically my plan is to sell this for cheap and uh, maybe throw some upgrades on the 330, like some 26 inch ag tires and stuff like that. So, and then maybe next spring, I just wanna get like a nice little 110 as a little butt buggy for around the yard and at shows and stuff like that. So, but the 214, unless I find a good K321 or a K341, uh, this thing is pretty much gonna go. And then we got the SS16. This guy is not going anywhere. I love the thing, don't get me wrong. This thing is a freaking awesome tractor. I'm not letting it go, I don't wanna let it go. This is my first ever Sears Suburban. I'm absolutely in love with this old girl. Uh, hence the old time, hence the time and a half name. So I love this thing to pieces. I don't wanna get rid of it and I'm not going to get rid of it. And I'll tell you what my plan is. So basically, as you guys know, I bought this B48M off a of, Pacific Drama Hue, which I'm very thankful for. But uh, fortunately, because of my own stupidity and uh, some failures, this motor is totally locked up. I will show you right now. This motor is fucked, completely fucked. And uh, so basically what my plan is, I'm going to take this B48M off. I'm gonna keep it around for spare parts and the GT18 will be getting a heart transplant. The GT18's motor will go onto this motor, or onto this tractor, with my 25 horse Kohler carburetor and everything. I'm just gonna swap it all over. I have a brand new fuel pump that I'm gonna put on it, and uh, that takes care of this thing. That motor is not in perfect shape, but I know it's a great running engine, and we are going to fix the little bit of, you know, the little nagging issues that I have with it. We're gonna fix those, and, uh, this thing will be a runner again, probably within a month. I'm thinking about a month we'll have her up and running. And then that's pretty much it with this guy. And then we'll get her shined up and looking good again. And then the plan is with the GT18 is that is going to be the new 19.9. I'm going to be swapping my engine and all the required pieces over into the GT18 chassis and make it a 19.9. So I'll have to swap over the hood. I'll be using the nose cone from the GT18, but I'll have to swap the actual hood over because I don't know if any of you guys know this, but the actual hood itself is a little bit bigger to uh, accommodate the N52M. Now, the original hood will fit, but since I'm wanting to make it a 19.9, I'm just gonna swap over that hood. And when all that's going down, that's going to get a repaint and uh, looking good again. It will get the 14 wides from the 199. It will get the engine from the 199 and all the supporting stuff from the 199. Um, and then I'm just going to keep that 199 frame around. Um, the transaxle is is uh, pretty is pre it's pretty much junk. Um, I was originally going to throw that transaxle that I got from uh, Kateras Collections into there. Um, which big shout out to Kateras Collections, by the way. He gave me this transaxle, and uh, I honestly have yet to use it. But don't worry, I will use it at some point. I know I will. But I'm gonna keep it around. It's a good spline 199 transaxle that came out of his 199. So, but basically, my my GT18 is going to be the new 199 because my 199, as you guys know, is in pretty rough shape. The body panels are rough. The nose cone is busted. Tried multiple times to fix it. Um, that's another story of its own, but long story short, it just wasn't happening. Um, the transaxle is screwed. Um, and all in all, I just don't think that 
the 19.9 itself is worth it because it needs a new dash. The fenders are screwed. The footboards were cut for tire chains, which really pissed me off. And the nose cone is messed up. So, so yeah, the GT18 will be the new 19.9. I'm gonna paint it up, fix the little crack in the dash. We're gonna put 19.9 decals on it. We're gonna put the N52M out of the 19.9 in it. Uh, the transaxle in it is really good. And uh, I'll have to swap over the lower grill piece and a few other little things. I'll probably just swap the whole wiring harness over because I know it's good. The tractor charges and everything like that, as you guys have seen in previous videos. So that's my plan. To sell the Suburban 10, to sell the 214, and then maybe sell the 199's chassis as like a rolling chassis or something like that. I don't know. I... I, I I'm probably going to hold on to it, but we'll see. I just don't want so many tractors sitting around here because I'm just getting a little bit too overwhelmed. Plus, I haven't made a video about this because I just got these. Um, I have acquired two Hydratracks. That's right, I said two Hydratracks. One, I believe, is a 68 Hydratrack 12, the SS12 Hydro. And then the other, I'm not really sure. I think it's a 69 Hydratrack. But uh, someone put a 14 Briggs in it off of like an SS14, which believe it or not, I actually have that SS14 frame to go with the other two hydros. So I have an SS14 frame and two hydros. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to keep one hydro for myself, which will be the 14 hor the hydro with the, uh, the 14 Briggs on it. So basically I'll get to that. But we're going to keep, or I'm going to keep for myself the hydro 14 with the Briggs, and I'm going to give my brother the Hydro 12, and then my dad is gonna take that SS14 frame and build a rat rod. So you guys will be seeing a suburban rat rod coming to the channel at some point. It's gonna happen, I don't know when, but it will happen. And then that tractor will probably just get like a, uh, just a 670 Predator, a little pulley swap and some stuff like that. And just, it's gonna be the goofiest looking tractor you, you've ever seen, but it's gonna be cool. That's also gonna be a little butt buggy for going around shows and stuff like that while I, uh, you know, preserve these guys. Of course, I'll drive them. You know, I don't like to let my stuff sit, as you guys know. But my main driving tractors will be the 110 and the Rat Rod. So that Hydro I have is going to be... I'm basically just going to turn it into an HT14. Like, I'm going to find parts off of, a, uh, off of that body style tractor. We're going to paint it up. You know, obviously, um, first things first, I'm going to see if the Briggs and the, uh, the transaxle are good because I know those Hydros have a tendency of being a little bit of a pain, you know, especially with the little coupler like uh, Rooney Sears has with, uh, or had with uh, two out of the three of his Hydros. I want to say it was the orange 68 and the 69 that had the coupler problem. I can't quite remember, but I think it was those two. Um, first things first, obviously, I'm going to see if those are good. You know, make sure the 14 horse Briggs is good. Um, even if it's not, I'm not too worried about rebuilding it just because it's a freaking Briggs and they're pretty cheap to rebuild. So, uh, and then as long as those are good, that will get the HT14 treatment with the appropriate sheet metal, the appropriate paint colors, and HT14 decals, obviously. And then we'll just roll around like that. So that's my plan. Obviously, that's a bit of a mouthful for me. But, that's pretty much what's going to happen. And then my brother is going to get the HT12. I got to put a carburetor on it. And then he'll have that one. And then we're going to build the rat rod out of the SS14 frame. So, that's pretty much my plan for now. I'm sorry to say, you know, I, I hate to... I hate to sell a tractor that I've always wanted. You know, the Suburban 10 was always something I really wanted. Love the 66 body style, but, you know... Like I said, these guys are common, and, you know, if I sell it and I decide to get another one, you know, at some point, you know, maybe I'll get another one again. But this little Suburban 10 has to go. The 214 is going to have to go. Obviously, I'm going to put these tires back on it and uh, put the original, put the 330 tires back on the 330 after I get the other one fixed. And uh, we'll go from there. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate and uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet subscribe 
Click the thumbs up button, tap the notification to make sure you don't miss any of my videos, and have a great night.